Public Television in Buffalo, WNED-TV, Channel 17. Some people hustle pool, some people hustle cars. Then there's that man you've heard about, the one who hustles stars. Jack Horkheimer, star hustler, director of Miami Space Transit Planetarium. Our episode for this week, Monday, December 8th, through Sunday, December 14th, is Jupiter Aligns with Mars next week, and Echo from the musical Hair. And now here to tell you all about tonight's sky and the biggest show of all, the universe, your star hustler, Jack Horkheimer. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. And although I don't want to date myself, I wonder how many of you out there remember, along with me, the very popular lyrics to a song from the Broadway musical Hair that go, when the moon is in the seventh house and Jupiter aligns with Mars, then peace will guide the planets and love will steer the stars. This is the dawning of the age of, remember? Well, believe it or not, next week we'll all be able to watch as Jupiter indeed does align with Mars. That's right, by early Friday a.m., December 19th, the red planet Mars will pass within one half of one degree away from the king of the planets, Jupiter. And if that's not aligning, I don't know what is. And you'll also be able to see this event from any place in the USA and Canada, even from within brightly lit up cities, if, of course, it isn't raining, snowing, or completely socked in with clouds. And what's even niftier is that this week and the first part of next week, you'll be able to watch Mars creep closer and closer to Jupiter night after night. And to top it off, after Friday the 19th, you'll be able to watch Mars slowly pull away from Jupiter night after night after night. Now, some of you may recall that we starred our Mars creeping up on Jupiter watch way back last October. And many of you have written to me about how much fun it's been to watch this event over the past couple of months. But for those of you who haven't been watching, here's what all of us Jupiter Mars fans have been witnessing. Now, way back when, during the last week of September, Mars was 50 degrees away from Jupiter, which was equal to lining up 100 full moons between the two planets. But by Halloween, Mars had moved 20 degrees, that is 40 full moon widths closer to Jupiter. And every single week since Halloween, Mars has moved five degrees closer, that's 10 full moon widths nearer to the brilliant king of the planets. Five degrees during the first week of November, five degrees during the second week, five degrees during the third, five degrees during the fourth week, and last week, the first week of December, Mars moved yet another five degrees, that is 10 full moon widths closer. And of course, this week, yet another 10 full moon widths nearer to alignment day. So, fellow Jupiter Mars gazers, we've almost reached our goal. And for those of you who haven't been keeping track of this fascinating planet game, well, you're still not too late to watch the climax of this wonderful alignment. All you have to do is go outside any clear night this week between the hours of 6 and 7 p.m. your local time and look almost due south. The two brightest star-like objects you'll see are Jupiter and Mars. Jupiter will be the brightest and will be to the left. Mars will be quite a bit dimmer and to the right. And would you believe what constellation of stars they just happen to be in? That's right. The constellation everyone sang about in the 60s, the water bearer Aquarius. An interesting coincidence, but a coincidence nonetheless. So, out under the heavens with all of you ex-flower children who are now in Kelvin Klein jeans and Brooks Brothers suits. And remember, it's always a good time, 60s, 70s, or 80s, to keep looking up. Star Hustler is brought to you by the Carl Zeiss Companies of North America. We're setting the standards with products for medicine, research, industry, 
and the quality conscious consumer.